Josh got his car stolen last night and he's gonna tell you about it. So that's how you feel? That's how I feel, man. Alright guys, welcome back <laughs> guys. Welcome back. <laughs> welcome back this week. We're gonna be doing Paintball Trivia. Name that artist. <laughs> so our friend Truman's coming over we're gonna have a game called guess that artist and we're gonna be playing music and if you guess the artist correctly you don't get shot if, if you, you guess get them wrong you get nailed by our bang bang handmade paintball gun with over 350 psi so so Josh has something crazy that happened to him within the past couple of days and uh, I think it's a great story and I think that you guys should know about it and just be aware and make sure to like lock your doors, kids. Yeah. <laughs> so I went to bed early Saturday night. Uh, I got off work. I just wasn't feeling it. I was feeling tired, so I just said screw it. I ended up taking off my watch, my keys, everything like normal. Just put it on the counter and hit the hit the hay, hit the sack. <laughs> I went to bed. So I woke up and I ended up walking down my driveway to go to my car to grab a cigarette out of it, and my car's gone. So I run back inside and I ask my dad if my mom took my car anywhere. And they were like, no, we thought you went to work early, got called into work. So that's why we thought it was gone. I was like, obviously I'm here and my car's not here, so where's my car? Then we called the police. The first officer on site was, of course, the police officer or the deputy from the graveyard incident. He recognized me immediately. I recognized him immediately. <laughs> it was very mutual. He took down my information. He get, he printed me a driver's license so I could drive around if I had a car, like a family car or something, so I can get around, which was pretty nice, I guess. And uh, he put a bolo out for my vehicle. Meanwhile, after he left, I did my own private investigation. <laughs> and I called all the people I know and I said, yo, I don't have my car right now, so if you see my car, kind of give me a heads up. I wouldn't mind catching them before the police did, but. <laughs> so. I, t I asked my friends to keep their their eyes open for my car. I called this man thinking that <laughs> that might have been a prank, like he stole my car as a prank. He's not answering, so I was like, Did this guy actually take my car as a prank? And finally he answered around noon, and he was like, no, bro, no. I Nah, to be honest, I did think about it as a prank. <laughs> but I, I was sleeping with my girlfriend. I wake up with five missed calls. I'm like, holy shit. Like, he never calls me more than twice, like, if that. Some serious shiz. So, yeah, and then after that, I just ended up trying to clear my head. I had my friend Josh come over, Josh Siegel. You've seen him in the my vlog. And uh, he came over, we burned a little bit. So, uh, I'm with everybody, and around 6 o'clock, I get a call from CPD telling me that he's sitting with my car in a Clearwater parking garage right off of Fort Harrison. In a hospital. And he said that apparently Largo Police Department apprehended the perpetrator at a park and he was resisting arrest so he had to, they had to tase him. So <laughs> I was with all my friends, we were filming still, so we were like, what the f and I can't We I were can't. so surprised that they even found it. It's like apparently what? crazy break in the case. He admitted to everything. He apparently stole three other cars, three other people were involved supposedly, and uh, he told the police where he parked them or where he stashed the cars or where the cars were. Yeah. They only found the key fob, his house keys were missing, nothing in the car was gone. All of our like random bullshit, baseball helmets, tables, everything Pokemon was still there. cards, everything from everything was there. Except the good stuff, which was the the ganja. Scale was still there, ganja's gone. It's like, what the f Story of my car. Right here. No, I thought it was gonna be a little, I thought it was a little, a little bit more. Alright, Truman's trying to. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Alright, so we're about to do that name that artist challenge. Truman's about to go first. I don't wanna go first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Truman's about to do the Name That Artist Challenge. He's gonna get, he gets three parts of the song to listen to, and if he can't guess the song off those three parts, he bang, gets bang. shot each three times. Let's try it. <laughs> First song. Oh, this is the song. All right, 
Okay. Okay. Alright, that's the first chunk. Shoot him. Okay, this is the next chunk. Alright. Alright, you got it. So, you get one more song? Yeah, one more song. Okay. No, nope. that was. You get five seconds to name that other artist. If not, you get shot. That part. <laughs> you got Damn, the guy, come on. You don't want to get hit with that air gun. My turn. Ah, ah. Uh, this is a uh, Warren G. Regulators. All right, one song done. Don't do it too easy, cause he only gets three songs. I sit alone in my four cornered room, staring at candles. <laughs> You're looking all lonely over there. It hurt! Pow! I still hear your voice when you sleep next. 25 seconds! This is Taylor Swift! Oh! oh. My turn. First song. Let me know. Let me know. Twenty-five seconds. I don't know. Nope. <laughs> that hit me right in between the ribs. Damn. You ready? Tupac. <laughs> it was. It's actually Scarface, but Tupac's in it, so I'll give it to you. Have any of them pop? No. Close, dude. I know. <laughs> I'll give you a hint, start with a G. 25 seconds. Starts with a G, it's uh. Draft your ass! Yep. Yeah. <laughs> suck, suck. Whatever. Alright, so I lost the name the artist challenge. I'm about to get shot twice. Thank you. Oh! Oh! oh slam it! Oh! Why? Oh, and no he more. dances, folks! No more! <laughs> <laughs> He's running away. Most. Most. Monday, baby. <laughs> we shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those, it depends, baby. <laughs> she makes me cry. <laughs> yeah. But to be honest. Don't make fun of people who shit their pants. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to do it. Have you ever shit your pants? Have you guys ever shit your pants? I've shit yeah, my pants in a drug deal. I shit. <laughs> oh, what the f? I was with Steve. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm was... dropping off to your brother. Yeah, you know, the... All of a sudden, you feel that little, that little rumble. You're like, uh oh. You're like, all right. <laughs> what, what can I do from here? <laughs> shit in my shorts and uh, into the closest bathroom. Take off your underwear, throw it into the uh, trash can. Oh, <laughs> and the commando out that bitch. Nothing, yeah. nothing, nothing else. even happened. You know, and you just go about your day. <laughs> yes, sir. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Make sure to go down to the description below. Click on the link. Follow us on our social media. Some pretty cool cats, to be honest. Make sure to come back next week for our next video. Peace out.
Thank you.